Hey, what's up, shithead? So I wanted to go over something. Something was brought up the other day between myself and a couple of the other guys. And it turned into not, not an argument necessarily, but a discussion. And the discussion was that of gas length, gas system, overgassed, undergassed. And what brought it about was we were talking specifically about Sons of Liberty Gunworks. Now, before anybody gets mad that I'm shitting on them or anything like that, I'm not. Simply stating facts, and this is my opinion based on my knowledge. So, where we're at, basically, in the discussion that was had was, while these are fantastic rifles, Sons of Liberty is known for gas port sizing and for specifically setting up the rifles to be as smooth as humanly possible. Not overgassed at all. They're gassed correctly for the application and set up to be a soft shooting as can be. And then you've got something like this here, Daniel Defense, that is probably slightly overgassed. Um, not so much in a 16 length variety, although this is it's a mid length, so it's probably gassed just right, but they don't do any fancy undersized gas ports or different buffer weights or anything like that. And especially when you get into some of the shorter lengths, like a 14.5 or a 10 and a half, they're going to be overgassed. Now, my counter argument was that is the difference between a combat gun or a fighting rifle versus something that's fun a range toy and hoping to get some discussion going in the comments of what your thoughts are between the two but here's a lowdown of it is something like and not just picking on sons of liberty i just happen to have one here that was the rifle used in the discussion uh, cobalt kinetics is one um sons of liberty there's a couple others that are known for having their gas systems done just right to be as smooth as humanly possible. Now, while that is a blast to shoot and fun, what I'm trying to dig is, in reality, when it comes down to it, 1,200, 1,400, 2,000 rounds into a range trip, or if we're talking for combat purposes, a firefight, when it's getting nasty as shit, and carbon caked and built up and you've got suppressed and you're getting all that gas blowback wouldn't you want something that is slightly not not overly not grossly overgassed but slight overgassing for incre increased reliability and that was the counter argument was that i would prefer if we're talking not a gaming rifle not a fun rifle not just oh because rifle but a shit hits the fan ready for combat rifle, you would want something slightly overgassed in order to, no matter what the scenario is, the situation, um, you know, extended period of time before you're able to clean it or break it down, something that if you have to, dump some oil in and keep it going. I personally would want something overgassed versus undergassed or set up specifically for one gas setting because that can vary between ammo types, uh, suppressed versus unsuppressed. A lot of things come into factor with that. And you can always do things while at the Ranger for fun to take an overgassed rifle and lighten it up a bit. A uh, heavier buffer. Um, you can get gas busting charging handles. In some cases, I'm sure if you threw a suppressor on this Daniel Defense V7 right now, a simple Geisley or gas busting charging handle would be all you would need to get rid of any overgassing issues, and it's still going to run reliable as shit. <clears throat> That's my simple argument here. Wanted to see what your guys' comments, suggestions, disagreements, whatever are, and thoughts on what rifle would you rather have? Would you rather have something that is finely tuned to machine or something that is slightly overgassed that is going to run no matter what? What are your concerns when it comes to a rifle? Are you looking for a fighting rifle or just something to have fun with? Either or, you'd still be able to use either rifle if shit hit the fan if it came down to it. It's just a personal preference that I personally would probably go with the Daniel Defense for the sake of it's a little overgassed. It's going to run no matter what. Not saying this wouldn't, but I would rather have the increased reliability factor. There you have it. That was the discussion, so let's get your opinion in the comments. Let us know what you think. Take it easy, shitheads. But see, then you can break stuff like that.
I'm not completely, for a fighting rifle, not completely set on an adjustable gas bar. 